Hey guys, one of the things that keto dieters may experience is also a keto flu during the ketogenic diet and this happens due to the low levels of sodium and electrolytes. The keto flu comes with uh, flu-like symptoms such as cough, irritability, nausea, fatigueness, sniffiness and headaches. But you should understand that this is in no way the real flu, but keto flu because it shares similar symptoms. It's not contagious and it doesn't involve um, insect kind of virus as well. So um, why keto flu? Remember, your body will be deprived in electrolytes, especially sodium. So your elimination of processed foods and an intake of natural foods often leads to a sudden reduction in your sodium intake. So also insulin levels are lowered when you reduce your intake of carbohydrates and this also reduces sodium which is stored um, uh, by kidneys. So the combination of your reduced sodium intake and the stored sodium which is eliminated by your kidney leaves you on low sodium as well as other electrolytes. So can you end the keto flow? Yes, of course, it's possible. So you need to add more sodium and electrolytes to your meal. You could come up with creative ways to do that. For instance, you can drink um, a soup or a bone broth and add more salt to your food. For example, like Celtic salt, I'd like to do that, for example. And eat lots of uh, salty food such as pickled vegetables and bacon. So please have that in mind for the next time you feel uh, some kind of nausea like this or keto flu. Stay tuned and I'll talk to you very soon.